so hello and welcome to the last video in the series of dealing with annoying calculations once again to remind you we are dealing with problem solving techniques while solving the problems of simple equations these techniques are very helpful in exams like cat where you are able to save lots of time just by making some smart observations and some smart moves while solving these problems so let's get started so once again the problem which i have picked up is from the assignment which is located here at this link and also mentioned in the description of this video so here it goes level 1 problem number 6 mayank mirza little and jaspal bought a motor bike of 4 dollar 60 mayank paid one half of the sum of the amounts paid by other boys mirza paid one third of the sum of the amounts paid by the other boys and little paid one fourth of the sum of the amounts paid by the other boys how much did jaspal have to pay so if we list down the unknowns we see that we don't know how much jaspal paid obviously because that's been asked similarly we don't know that exactly what amount did mayank Mirza and little all little paid. So Jaspal paid, as they said. That is what we have to tell. So let's assume that is unknown. That is J. Let's assume Mayank is M A, Mirza is M I, and little is L I. Now, if I start forming the equations out of these, I would. form the first equation something like this ma plus mi plus li plus ja equal to 60 because total amount spent by them was dollar 60 to buy a motor bike next equation which i which i would make is mayank paid one half of the sum of amounts paid by other boys so what is the sum of amount paid by other boys that is sum of amount paid by mirza plus little plus jaspal and mayank paid half of it so this should be equal to ma similarly they say that mirza paid one third of the sum of amounts paid by other boys so other boys in this case are mayank little and jaspal and mirza paid one third of their amount so one third of sum of other boys amount is equal to mirza mirza the amount i mean then they say that little paid one fourth of the sum of the amounts paid by other boys so this time when little is my first boy other boys are mayank mirza and jaspal and little paid one by four of these how much does jaspal have to pay now in this case if you see carefully we have four equations 1 2 3 4 and we have four unknowns so it is a perfectly solvable equation but then the problem is that four equations and four unknowns is a difficult equation to solve because you will have to do lots of calculations lots of calculations four unknowns four equations since you have to do lots of calculations uh, using four unknowns and four equations what is the way out to avoid these calculations the way out is that there is no fixed pattern but then since cat people are smart people they design problems such that they can be solved easy there is an easy way out so that's why you have to look for a pattern so here if you look for a pattern here we find it That mi plus li plus ja is equal to 2 ma. 
So in first equation we can actually replace mi plus li plus ja by 2ma and we will get the value of ma. So if I do that I get ma plus 2ma equal to 60 which gives me ma equal to 60 by 3 or 20. Now ma plus 2 similarly in this it will become mi plus 3mi because if I replace ma plus li plus ja in equation 1 I get mi plus 3li equal to 60 therefore mi equal to 60 by 4 equal to 15. Similarly I can calculate li from this and this so Li in this case will be, will be equal to Li plus 4Li because Ma plus Mi plus J will be 4Li. So Li plus 4Li equal to 60. So 5Li equal to 60 and Li hence is equal to 12. So we were able to calculate Ma, Mi and Li pretty easily. So therefore J should be now very easy for us. It should be 60 minus MA plus MI plus LI which is equal to 60 minus 20 plus 15 plus 12 which is equal to 13 dollars. So although this looked like a tough calculation but we made a once we made one smart move and we were able to do it very easily with minimum calculations. Let's move to the second question in this. It goes like this. So they say that 72 hence cost rupees dash 96.7 dash then what does each hen cost where, where two digits in place of dash are not visible or written in illegible hand. So now these two digits can be anything. It could be 196.7 something, 296.7 something, 396.7 something. So they can be anything. Right? It could be 196.71 or 296.78, 396.74, anything like this. Dumb guess. Where these blank digits could be anything. So now how to go about solving this problem? I would say better try and multiply this by 3.23 and see that if you get 96.7 as your middle digits and something else as your last digits and as a result you should be able to do it. For instance say 72 into something say k gives me say 96.7 in between and some some digits here say 1 and 2 then my answer will be k. So among the four options one which gives me 96.7 as my middle three digits should be my answer. But then it is lots of calculations if I multiply 72 into 3.23, 72 into 5.11, 72 into 5.51 and 72 into 7.22 it will be big calculations. So how can we avoid that? We can avoid that by applying simple fund fundamental of mathematics that is 3.23 lies between 3 and 4. So if I multiply 72 into 3 it will be 216, 72 into 4 it will be 288. So 72 into 3.23 lies between 216 and 288. Now there is no chance of having 96 at units and decimal place. Units and tens place that is there is no chance of it. Because we will have 17, 18, 19 till 87 but we will not have 96 between these 216 and 288. So option A rejected. Option B 
I see 72 into 5 is 360 and 72 into 6 is 432. Yes, we have 396 in between them. So there is a chance of having 96 here. So my B option B or option C either could be my answer because both lie between 5 and 6. Coming to D, 72 into 7 is 504. 72 into 8 is 576. So since again 96 does not lie between 96 does not lie between 504 and 576. Therefore this also cannot be my answer. Now I have to choose one of the answers between 5.11 and 5.51. For that I revisit. I see 72 into 5 is 360 and 72 into 6 is 432. If I see 396 is roughly midway between them, 360 plus 36 and 432 minus 36. So 396 is between 360 and 432. So then the number with which 72 is getting multiplied should be between 5 and 6. Now among these two numbers 5.11 and 5.51 I can see that 5.51 is between 5.5 5 and 6 because number between 5 and 6 is 5.5. So 5.51 is closer to the number between 5, 5 and 6 hence I would choose 5.51 as my answer and move on. So this is what it was all about that is seemingly tough calculations made easy. Just one more word, I chose to pick up some 7 or 8 problems uh, for annoying calculations during the course of 3 videos. But I could have picked up any other set also. Because there is no limit to the optimizations in terms of calculations which you can do. So please do try out other questions and do calculation optimizations wherever possible. If you find any question which is very tedious or very long, just say to yourself that there exists an easy way to solve it. You can reach me out at educator avyak at the rate gmail.com if you have problem with any question in the assignment or even outside the assignment just in case you want to access any other resources outside the assignment which I have given. So I don't have a problem solving that also. So you can reach me out happily on this email ID. So that's it for annoying calculations. We will be continuing with our problem solving techniques in the next video where we will be dealing with some of the cases where the equations we form are not that straightforward. We have to take some other things also in consideration to solve those equations. So that will be the topic for my next video where forming the equations and getting to the answer is not that straightforward. That will be next in the series of problem solving techniques. So until then, goodbye. See you in the next video.